my suspicions have been confirmed. I went to the doctor a few weeks ago and it turns out that I have a dust allergy or rhinitis, which is great. I mean, it's not great, but it is great that at least I know what it is because I have been dealing with these symptoms and with this allergy for over two years now. And I did go to a doctor, but it was the wrong one. So it didn't help me at all. And it was just really frustrating living with these symptoms. And then I did some more Googling and I was like, well, what if it's an allergy? I mean, I've never had an allergy in my whole life, but apparently allergies can be developed at any age so i did go to the allergy doctor and yes i have a dust allergy so she gave me a bunch of meds to take which have already helped me tremendously but she also told me to get an aerosol device you know to like inhale whatever i don't freaking know and i did buy one and it doesn't work so now i need to go and hopefully i will be able to return it or not in the past couple of months he has brought us five dead birds or more like honestly i've lost count at this point we don't know what to do to stop him from killing birds and bringing them and he doesn't even eat them you know he plays with them and so the only solution that i found online that we can do is to play with him like every day so he doesn't feel the need to hunt anymore so i've been trying to make an effort and play with him every day because sometimes i forget and apparently it's important that i let him also catch the toy because that's where the satisfaction in hunting prey lies he's a bit tired because he just ate and he doesn't want to play right now he also has a bunch of toys but he doesn't really like any of them this is his favorite toy from one of my hoodies heard you kind of down from the weekdays i could take you up what do you say we're going to the moon are you ready a hot air balloon we could run away and just like how you always make me feel Temperature is rising to the ceiling You're gleaming Hope this bubble never pops Cause if it does, we're gonna drop Baby, bring a parachute Cause this one's gonna hurt for sure around for you won't let you drown up floating with you in outer space Today is January 17. I didn't go to my first course of the day because I decided to sleep in because today is actually my birthday and I'm turning a uh, concerning age because it sounds too real like i'm turning 22 and i'm like what do you mean you know like i never imagined myself at this age i also don't look 22 which might be one of the reasons why it's very hard to believe that i'm 22 i know that technically i've been a legal adult for four years now but i don't feel like one you know like on the inside i still feel like i'm 16 like the only difference between then and now is that now i have more freedom and more money in the sense that i don't need to ask permission you know to go out or to buy something because i can just do that but other than that 
I still feel like 16 on the inside, which I don't necessarily mind, but it's tricky. It's a tricky situation. I'm not doing anything crazy for my birthday. I mean, I haven't really celebrated it properly in a few years. On my birthday, I just like to, you know, be at home and like relax. I'm a strong believer that for your birthday, like the least you can do is like have a day off, like no school, no work, no studying, no nothing, and just have a day where you can recharge, like do whatever you want you know things that make you happy but i can't really do that today because um it's exam season you know i have an exam tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and those are supposed to be like the easy exams and then starting monday i have like the proper you know and difficult exam so i can't really you know relax on my birthday unfortunately i have to go to uni but what i'm gonna do is after uni today i'm just gonna you know go to my um like local fast food place that i really like and get something to eat not that I don't treat myself, you know, almost every day, but still, it's a special day today. my vlogs from this time last year and I noticed that I talked about my favorite of the previous year in terms of like music makeup clothes everything you know like old school youtube and i thought it would be interesting to share my favorites for 2023 as well i'm going to start with makeup and i have two lip combos one is the one that i'm wearing right now i'm talking about this lip pencil from essence in shade 402 i guess if i use just this on my lips because i do like to use lip pencils as lipsticks because it's the same thing you know it makes me look pale what I found works really well is to use this on most of my lips except for the margins and then for the margins for contouring I use this lip pencil from Lancome and it's in shade 301 rose or rose rose and it's this really nice color that is pretty similar to my lips actually I contour my lips with it and I feel like the combination of these two looks really nice as you can see it doesn't make me look pale anymore like it looks like a really nice shade so yes I've been loving these two lip pencils and the other lip product that I've been loving is this one from from Catrice. This is in shade the 030 Sweet Cherry and it's a really hydrating lip balm that is also tinted which i really like this color is also similar to the lancome lip pencil because i don't know these are the colors that i like this color is subtle but at the same time it does make a difference so and the last makeup item that i like this year was actually a foundation now i don't like wearing foundation on a day-to-day -day basis but this year i have had a few days where my skin didn't look good at all so i did have to wear foundation you know just to feel more comfortable Confident. The one that I've had for a couple of years now and the one that I use is this one from Maybelline. Maybelline Affinitone in shade 09 Opal Rose. I somehow managed to match my shade more or less but what i like about this foundation is that the coverage is quite good if you ask me and it feels natural you know it doesn't look like i have foundation on it looks really natural so yeah i really like this for skincare you know i did share a skincare haul in february i think because i bought a bunch of korean skincare because i really wanted to transition all of my skincare to korean skincare because it's just better i did buy quite a few items but throughout the 
year I stopped using some of them and I really minimized my skincare routine and my skin started looking better so I think it is because I've minimized my skincare routine and what I've loved using this year was first of all sunscreen or sun protection which is obviously very important and I'm trying to use every day and I've been using this one from Altruist I don't know if this is a Romanian brand or not this is like the only non-Korean product that I use but yeah it has SPF 50 I really like it it doesn't bring me out like the previous one that I used it's also a really good price because sunscreen is so unnecessarily expensive and this is like the only one that's actually affordable and I like how it works so I think I've hit the jackpot with that one I'm gonna lie another product that I really loved was the moisturizer that I bought this is from Essentry and it's a soothing gel moisture type moisturizer I guess with aloe I really like the consistency of this and a little goes a long way you know like with this much I cover my whole face so and last but not least I've also been liking my cleanser and the one that I use is this one from Hymish I did show you know this and the moisturizer in previous vlogs but yeah I really like this one from Hymish because it has a matte clean effect it's pH balancing like everything and I really really like this one Hymish all clean green foam music wise and no I'm not going to mention Stray Kids or 80s because they are some of my favorites every year this year I loved Bring Me The Horizon which I have talked about in previous vlogs but yeah I have been absolutely obsessed with Bring Me The Horizon in 2023 I love them so much and this year they're coming to Romania at a music festival called Electric Castle so you already know I'm gonna be there I'm so excited like I'm genuinely counting down the days even though they haven't announced the actual day that Bring Me The Horizon is performing on i'm still you know counting down the days like i'm so freaking excited to finally see them live another band that i really love this year was fallout boy which i've been a fan of for years but this year they finally released a new album after like five years over five years i think it was so good and what i loved about it most was that it finally felt like fallout boy again because their previous one mania i liked like it was a good album but it didn't really have the fallout boy sound and that's something that a lot of people complained about the album that they released this year so much for stardust does sound and feel like fall boy again the last favorites i feel like they do deserve a mention here were psychers you know this k-pop group these rookies from 2023 they put out two albums this year and they were so so good i you know talked about them in my previous video in my top 23 favorite k-pop songs of 2023 so if you're into k-pop and you haven't checked out psychers highly recommend that you do that as far as jewelry goes because you know i love my jewelry my absolute absolute favorite earring pair this year is one that you've seen already i've talked about already but it's this pair from c and a it's a gold plated pair of earrings that i was really skeptical about buying because since they're gold plated they were a bit more expensive than what i usually pay for earrings but i ended up absolutely loving it and wearing them every single day since i got them so obviously i made a really you know good decision by buying them unfortunately they have started to tarnish a little bit so we'll see maybe i'll repurchase them i don't know but i've really been loving them and i really like the design and you can also take this charm off and wear it like this which is great because it's a really versatile pair yeah i feel like it's time i start investing more in my earrings and maybe get some timeless pieces but we'll see i've also been liking this pair of m earrings I actually got them in a pack with a bunch of other earrings from this romanian store called lovisa they're just metal like they're not gold or gold plated or anything but i've been really liking them and the last piece of jewelry that i've been loving this year is this ring right here this chunky heart one that is from cna again and it's gold plated as far as cna's clothes go they don't have the best clothes but all of their jewelry is really really nice so i highly recommend checking their jewelry out if you haven't again a bit more expensive than you know what i usually buy but definitely worth it because i've been wearing it every day since then and i've been loving wearing it on this finger with this one i think the combination looks really good i also love watching youtube like you'll always catch me on youtube watching vloggers usually and i have a lot of favorite youtubers this year well i only have three actual vloggers three girls that i really loved this year those were uh, michelle reed i've been following michelle reed since 2019 and i absolutely love her vlogs like 
she has the um, ultimate comfort vlog she prioritizes like slow living and a simple life and things like that and she has recently become a mother so she hasn't posted for the past couple of months unfortunately because you know she's busy but i absolutely loved her and honestly i feel like she's been you know one of my favorite vloggers ever since i found her so this year i discovered alia zaita which i have been loving she's in fact romanian but her family moved to america when she was like eight i think but she is romanian so i love seeing you know a romanian influencer or a vlogger thrive that aside like her vlogs truly are really really good and yeah i really enjoy her content and the last vlogger that i've been loving this year was none other than cecil i've also been following her for like two years i think something like that but yeah i really love her vlogs like i love the way she makes them you know the fact that they always have a theme yeah i don't know cecil is really really inspirational you know not gonna lie i really like her i already talked in my previous vlog about dan and phil who revived their gaming channel this year in october and i've been loving watching their gaming channel ever since i mean i've been watching them for nine years but my obsession with them had died down a long time ago but now it came back you know they revived the gaming channel and also my love and you know obsession with them and their content when i say they've raised me i'm not kidding you know like i've been watching them since i was 12 like this man actually raised me then i've been really loving adam mcintyre's channel it's a whole thing you know if you know the scandal or the drama or the allegations about colleen ballinger this year it, it was a whole thing you know i used to watch her or whatever ever since then i've been following adam mcintyre I've watched every video that he's made about Colleen but he has a lot of commentary videos on his channel about different you know topics yeah ever since June I've been watching his channel like almost every single day so I have to mention Adam here and the last youtuber that I've been really loving this year funny enough is a Romanian youtuber so if you're not Romanian you can really watch him but if you are his name is Shelly which I'm sure you have heard of because he is the biggest Romanian youtuber I really like Shelly as a person I think he's really really smart and driven and he's a great entrepreneur and everything but i wasn't subscribed to his channel i didn't really watch his channel except for you know a couple of videos here and there but this year i have been really liking his content and he also made a second channel where he like reacts to videos and i've been really liking those and yeah this year i've been watching a lot of shelly so i thought he was worth mentioning even though you might not know who he is tv shows because you all know that i love tv shows like it is literally not just a hobby but a passion for me to watch tv shows like you'll always catch me watching a tv show this year i only have like two favorite tv shows i didn't get to watch as many tv shows as i wanted this year because the ones that i watched were really long so this year i did rewatch at one point the walking dead only the first six seasons and the first four are where it's at i'm telling you the first four seasons of the walking dead are the best like they are like a cinematic masterpiece they're 10 out of 10 so i feel like i should mention that and i have a feeling i'm going to rewatch the first four seasons of the walking dead many more times because they're just that good and this year i hope finally got a chance to watch lost i have a lot of old shows on my list that i want to watch because i feel like it's only normal you know as someone who loves tv shows to have seen these shows and this year i watched one tree hill which i liked you know an oldie but a goodie but it doesn't compare you know to other shows and lost and i watched it in the summer and i liked it but i wasn't obsessed with it or anything i didn't love it and after i finished it i realized that lost is that type of show that you will understand much much better when you rewatch it so in october i rewatched it i was right i did understand the story so much better the second time around but i was able to appreciate it so much more the second time around like i picked up on certain references that i obviously didn't pick up on the first time notice details notice the way the storyline was constructed because from what i've read online a lot of people think that the writers made up the story as they went which if you go and rewatch the show is not true because a lot of details regarding the end of the show or you know the bigger picture are already there in season one you know and i didn't know that until i rewatched the show so i literally made the best decision rewatching lost really close to the first time i watched it because that's also really important and i think it's safe to say it has become one of my favorite shows now and it is one of the best shows i've ever watched and yeah i highly recommend everyone to watch lost because there's a reason why it was so popular back in the day and if you're wondering my favorite character is sawyer
And the last category of favorites is miscellaneous or random items. And in here I have some costumes that I bought my cat some Christmas, you know, or winter costumes that I got them. And I got them this really cute like Christmas cape and also this hat that says Merry Christmas. And it has been so hard, you know, putting these clothes on them and getting them to pose for photos because obviously they don't like wearing this. But I did manage to take some really nice photos of them and it just makes me happy, you know, them where it is. Another favorite this year has been the app Vinted, which is a secondhand app where you can sell or buy, you know, secondhand clothes for the most part, but people, you know, sell all kinds of stuff. And I really like it because I've been able to sell, you know, quite a lot of my own stuff and make some extra money, which was nice. It's also really good for people who are into K-pop. I've been able to finally find and buy my favorite photo card of Jisung, one that I've been eyeing ever since it came out this gorgeous one of him from in life it's on my shelf right there and i'm too lazy to go get it i also traded one photo card for this gorgeous one from rockstar and now i'm really torn because i don't know which photo card i like more i also have bought some clothes myself some secondhand clothes from vinted some were a success some were a fail unfortunately but that's what usually happens you know but my absolute favorite purchase from vinted has been this gorgeous bag this black bag i have been wearing ever since i got it is originally from mojito and absolutely love it not only does it look so good and sleek and i love the hand like the handle is so cool but it is so spacious honestly i don't know if you can tell but this also holds like a whole bottle of water and at one point i had in here a bottle of water my camera and everything else that i usually have in my bag this fits so much it's crazy and the last but definitely not least favorite of 2023 is this camera i don't know if this is called a digital camera or what but yeah i've been having this since fifth grade or sixth grade something like that but i only used it like a little bit when i got it and then i never used it again and i saw that in the past couple of years vintage cameras have become really popular again taking photos with them filming with them and i remember that i do have a camera myself obviously it's not vintage but the quality is not the best i mean it does have a 720p quality but that's not considered high definition anymore every time i traveled somewhere every time i went to foreign countries or in bucharest i always took photos with it and absolutely love how they turn out especially with the option that shows the date on the photo i feel like that makes it look even more vintage and by the way if you're wondering what camera this is this is a nikon coolpix camera and i cannot wait to take even more photos with it in 2024 